In this video, I'll show you where the BCM module is located and how to remove it and install a new part. Finally, you'll show you how to correctly program such a module. The entire repair was done on a 2017 Ford Transit Custom. Now, a quick intro and let's get to work. Hi everyone, I'm the Senior Tech and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the left-hand drive model, the BCM module is located under the steering wheel. I'll start by removing some plastic trims below the steering wheel to gain access. Follow the instructions in this video if you've never done this before, or skip this step and proceed directly to programming. When disconnecting the module, there's no need to disconnect the battery. Simply unplug the power connector first before the others. Similarly, when installing the new BCM, connect the power plug last. Note, before proceeding to the programming step, make sure you have at least two ignition keys. If you only have one key, starting the vehicle won't be possible. To install the new module, I'm using the original FDRS software with access to immobilizer coding. A valuable tip before you start this step, before connecting the diagnostic machine, make sure the old module is connected to the vehicle. In this case, the system will have all the necessary information regarding the configuration and programming the new BCM will go smoother. Load the VIN of the vehicle and the network test will start automatically. Then we proceed to the PMI, Programmable Module Installation, for the BCM and the process of installing the new module will begin. In the next steps, follow the information displayed on the screen. Now is the time to connect a new unit. Remove the old BCM and fit the new one. After successful configuration, the system will enter key learning mode. If we've completed all the steps, now we'll be able to start the engine by turning the key in the ignition. Finally, we should clear all DTCs from memory and verify if any additional service functions need to be performed. Different modules require different configurations. If you're interested in programming and configuring other modules in Ford vehicles, leave a comment below, and I may make another video about it. That's all for this video. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more content like this. I bow low. See you in the next video.